The FCC voted 3-2 to two today to reclassify the Internet as a utility under Title II of the Federal Communications Act. This will treat Internet service providers as common carriers and supposedly establishes a more fair and free Internet. But not everyone agrees. Internet service providers are, for the most part, against the decision and have been fighting it for the last year. Although many ISPs say they are committed to a free Internet, many don't want FCC control over how they manage and sell their Internet plans. Gene Reagan, Senior Director of Corporate Communications for Suddenlink, says, Suddenlink fully supports an open Internet and our customers' right to access, on a level playing field, any and all legal Internet services that are available to them today and in the future. There is no paid prioritization, there are no fast and slow lanes, and there is no blocking of legal content by Internet service providers. In short, there is no marketplace rationale for the FCC's expected decision. But many others feel that the vote was a good decision. One of the things that we need to do is um, make sure that the Internet continues to be the kind of free-for-all that it kind of is. And the only way to do that is through net neutrality, through making sure that um, it doesn't become one of those things that those have money can do and those who can't, can't. I mean, that's what always made the Internet wonderful is that it provided a true democratization of a media. The new rules will ban three main concerns. No throttling internet traffic in regards to content, no blocking content, and no fast lanes or prioritization to certain internet traffic. AT&T claimed partisanship in the results, saying, At AT&T, we've supported open internet principles since they were first enunciated, and we continue to abide by them strictly and voluntarily, even today. Unfortunately, this was undone by a court decision. Today, an administration and an FCC that appeared headed toward another bipartisan win on net neutrality were driven instead to a partisan fight. Surely there will be battles over this issue in the near future. So what may be law today may not be tomorrow. You have to make sure that the net remains neutral, completely neutral, and that it's totally fair to everybody Anybody can access it. Anybody can put stuff on it. Any information that's on it goes equally through. It doesn't matter. Jeremy Lyons, Fox 26, KNPN.